<laughs> Aloha. This is John Martin with uh, Way of the Projector 2015. <laughs> I'm going to date these things because, you know, I don't think that uh, people understand how evolutionary this whole process is, even for me. I mean, I'm still asking the question, guys, what is this projector thing? So what you're getting from me today is, you know, over, you know, well, over 13 years of knowing I was a projector, experimenting with projectors, seeing what worked, seeing what didn't work. Now, if I say anything that, um, you know, isn't, uh, you didn't hear it anywhere else, well, that's because that's not how I learned it. <laughs> I learned it by doing it. And... Um, I've even seen this, 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 you know, even, even the aura try to be homogenized in a way that, that is very, very strange. So understand, guys, that, 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 if, that if I'm okay admitting to you that, dude, on my hike yesterday, I was asking myself, I mean, dude, dude I had two huge bolts of lightning hit me. I mean, they're still shaking through my system, the seeing and the, oh, my God, of it. But in order to get there, you got to get out of your own way. Okay. And so what I'm going to give you today is really an experiential view of not only the, obviously, the logical mechanics of the, of, of the projector, which, you know, most of you probably at least have some idea of at this point. But um, what I've actually seen really work for, I don't even know how many. And look, if one, if a few, of the, don't don't try to implement all of this at once, guys. Please do not. I mean, this is a this is a roadmap, just like any map. And and if if you find that this thing that I said or that thing that I said is not your truth, don't try to take it in and make it your truth. Please, that is exactly what human design is not. Okay, I mean, you guys each have your own way, and the projector. Phew, is complex <laughs> and we'll see that in a moment but we are these crazy wizard <laughs> druid <laughs> type creatures i mean that there is no doubt of um it's it's, it's interesting how much the projectors uh, uh resonate with the mythology that i'm sharing because the view of a projector would be mythological, I would think, in a certain way. I, I could see where that would strike a recognition chord, which is one of the key buzzwords we'll be looking at today, recognition, in, in them, because they're like, no, I've known that something was off this whole time. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for showing us why. Mm -hmm. Guys, the the first thing, do you like me with the headset or without? Yeah, yeah it's one. Do, do I look better without it? Yeah, for this. <laughs> You don't need it. Our very official lecture. Um, the first of all, one of the things that I get to get around you guys or, or, or get to share with you guys is that, um, I mean, just the concept that you're flying in a bubble that you cannot see, taste, or smell. You're flying in the illusion that you're separate from everything else in a bubble through space. You have absolutely no control of where this thing is going. And that these mechanics are simply here to help you navigate what is your destiny. You know, and people, you know, the only people that are looking for their destiny, of course, are the OpenG people. But anyway, you're going to a place. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you already fired it. I'm arrow. almost Did, getting over it. Yeah, well, you're almost over it. But that, I mean, I mean, just to first of all, even begin to come to grips that you've got this, you know, 10 to 15 foot bubble around you in all directions that, uh, you know, projectors in particular are super sensitive to. They really are. You know, potentially. Actually, I should have said that. <laughs> like, see, I love how I catch my own BS. <clears throat> that we're dealing with four different frequencies. And in, in astrophysics, you can almost start to think of it as like densities of aura, you know, and, and mechanics on how they operate. Um, 
you know, the generator obviously attracts, envelops, pulling life towards it, right? The projector, we absorb. I mean, for me at least, I, I am absorbing the environmental conditions of what's going on. I mean, absorb, and then once I'm in someone, dude, it's I'm so in, it's like, whoa. And what I can see and what I can share are two different things. Even what I think are small risks end up getting all sorts of reactions. The manifestor aura, very dense and it's repelling and it's just pushing life away. It's like a big boat moving through the water, pushing everything away from it. And then the reflector that takes in little pieces, not even really, the manifestor and the reflector much more agents of the program. Right? So, you know, you're probably going to get sick of these slides <laughs> because <laughs> I am relentless in my training, okay? But just to start to kind of just go there for a second and realize that you think you signed up for this class. <laughs> you actually give yourself some credit for making that decision. Now, those of you with your really, really a connection to your inner authority or doing your best to follow your inner authority, I, I respect that. But even that, we can later discuss whether or not there was any choice in that. And this is what Rob meant when he went on. So the projector species, my species, I'm so worried about us. <laughs> We're a mess. We are like babies. You know, we, you know, all the other types, you know, 70 to 90,000 years, the generators, the manifestors and reflectors, you know, um, roam this earth. Look, even if they're doing it fucked up, at least they've been doing it. As a projector, I mean, in an evolutionary snap, I mean, we're a, we're this new species, and 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 not only do does no one understand. Well, yeah, how about just no one understands us? We'll just say there. I mean, you know, there are people that might be able to be sensitive to how we interact, but you know, if if there is a bridge of consciousness that's going to happen. You know, projectors are that bridge, you know, and that's one of the things I'm going to talk about more is why we cannot play the game the way the, re the way the rest of the world does. It's just not our game and we'll lose every time. The projector as a type contains more varieties of configurations and is more complex than any other type. I mean, okay. No definition, reflector. Motor to the throat, manifester. Defined sacral center, generator. Everything else, <laughs> projector. And uh, for me, dude, and I remember it was the it was one day I was you know I those of you that know I've been kind of you know Randy Richmond and I are our buddies you know maybe not. Buddies, because I don't think Randy has friends any more than I have friends, but you know, we hang out sometimes, uh, you know. And one day I was walking out of his house and he was like, he said something to the effect of uh, that his body was simply here to carry his mind around, <laughs> that he was okay if they just took his mind and had it in a jar somewhere so it could just do what it does, dude. I, I was so at first, I was at first, I was in shock. And then I was upset, <laughs> and then I was offended because of my mm. entire trip. And, and, and understand, like, his trip is really mental, okay? And Randy might get a special category of projector. We, we, if there's a separate type, it's Randy. Because <laughs> he gets away with stuff on an energetic level mm. that, uh, that is exactly violates everything I teach you guys as projectors. I haven't seen anybody else do that effectively, okay? So um, I think it's just his innocence protects him in a way and his defined ego and the fact that he really he is care. just in his trip and doesn't care, you know? But there are some basics that I would, I would encourage most normal human projectors or admiral um, to really learn and tune and, um, and see how these things work. But I mean, I remember that day, and then I really saw it. It's like, oh my God, that really is what, how it works for him. 
I mean, it's like, I mean, it, it, it was almost the yin and the yang. He and I are almost yin and yang in terms of our views and what a beautiful relationship uh, to have for me, especially with someone with that type of uh, um, time and, 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 and whatever in the experiment to really look and go, wow, his trip is really different than mine. The projector story, you know, you come into this world seeing and dude, we can't generate, we can't manifest, uh, we, no one really seems to listen to us. I mean, you know, I'm like, uh, that's fucked up. And, you know, as a kid, smack, you know, go in your room or whatever, you know, I mean, I don't even know if I had that in childhood, but, you know, that, that you lose faith in your own seeing. You, you do. It's like, I mean, even in, you know, and I, I've shared this a bit in human design. It's like, you know, people have like really come at me and questioned my take on things. And it's like, look, yeah, it's trippy. I mean, it, it, it'll make you back up and go, okay, am I off? And then I have to go into my lab and experiment, experiment. No, I'm not off. Not for me, I'm not, you know? So, um, I get it, guys. I do. I do. As projectors, we are psychologically by far the most fucked up. Um, we see what the possibilities are. We see what could be done. Um, even making this mutation in how human design is delivered. I mean, this is all just, you know, wow, what if we could, you know? Um, yeah, and you don't want to sail into your own bitterness. It's, it's just like, that's what happens. So um, understand, I, it, it, on one side, I'm starting with the, I understand the wounds. The rest of the lecture will be me trying to beat you senseless. Yeah, your mind senseless <laughs> in, in, in the way that hopefully empowers your spirit mm -hmm. and not your mind. Bitterness. I mean, people throw this thing around, you know, the projector aura. Every time we in, interact incorrectly with any energy of any type, dude, there is a feeling of bitterness that comes up. Now, I also have the stream of taste, so it may be, I don't get little bitterness now anymore. Now they're like, they're like huge things, you know, like when someone or something that I thought, you know, people were like, you know, oh, no, we, you know, we like it, we like it. And all of a sudden they don't. It's, it's just like, whoa, dude, whoa. And for people to think that, uh, you know, bitterness is just like the, you know, like a, some salt that got in your mouth for a second. Or, no, it's, you know, bitterness can be a process. I mean, it's a real process of, of, of purging that, that if, you, if you get really wrapped up in it. So, you know, in a second, we're going to talk about sitting down and shutting up to protect you. On the other side of that, having someone to be able to release and get this junk out of you, almost like, you know, I like to think of it almost like, in, you know, there's there's ceremonial uh, psychedelics that also come with purging and stuff. It's almost like I kind of relate it to the same thing. It's cleaning you out in a way. So, um, yeah, that every time you offer something, it's not seen. I mean, you're creating your own resistance. You know, you're, you're creating your own. So it's, it's really about protecting yourself. See, our aura goes in so deeply. It goes in so deeply to the other. We have no idea. You know, a couple of words that are off, and it's like, you know, it's, all, it's like we've just taken a machete to someone. And they don't even, you know, and then they react, and then you react back, and you get defensive. And so there is an energetic responsibility discipline, um, level of awareness required from the projector that is far beyond, far beyond um, what I see is necessary for the rest of the types. I mean, they, we really have to, I mean, this is the whole, we have to see how it all works before we even begin to see our thing in it and to understand that, yes, our gift is also our curse. The fact that we can go in so deep is also our curse. 
because every time we step in, you know, we step out, um, uh, you know, of our comfort zone, you know, I, 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 it's really confusing, especially in email and stuff where, where, you know, you might, you know, may have had the conversation and been invited at one time and then you're not. And it's like, whoa, and like energy will come back at you. And it's like, but it's so obvious. It's as obvious as stepping into a lane of traffic, you know, as a projector, feel that. I mean, this is where I want you guys to get out of that. This is any sort of mental pursuit and start to understand that what we're talking about here is an energetic exchange and that, you know, I, I sometimes just jump in the freeway just to see what will happen. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then I'm quite aware that I'm taking a huge risk right now, and I just want to see. <laughs> you know, uh, but it does hurt. <laughs> and, 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 and bitterness is not an event. It's a process, guys. At least for me, you know. You know, as projectors, we're gifted. We're gifted at seeing, you know, at learning systems and being able to take in, like, vast amounts of information. You know, now, this has been one of those things where I've I've struggled with it, you know, until I quit struggling with it, which took close to a decade, is that my approach to human design has never been a mentally, logically, you know, motivated endeavor. It never has. I've been experimenting with it on an energetic level. I mean, that's pretty much it. And then I go and see that the mechanics do verify or not what my experience is, you know? But, you know, you've really got to be in your thing, you know, as a projector. And that, you know, to be able to understand a larger framework, to be able to understand possibilities, to be able to see potential. I mean, these are all gifts of the projector, but it has nothing to do with doing any of that. It doesn't. It doesn't. And it requires a great deal of awareness if we're going to use that word, you know. Um, the other time, I'm not saying the other types are any less valuable or beautiful or whatever, but, but you know, for us, you know, just a word can get us in trouble. You know, that's not... It doesn't work that way with most humans. <laughs> so this is it, guys. One shot, one kill. I was in uh, a while back. I, w I tried to bring this up. I've tried to bring this up with anybody that thinks that they're an authority on human design just to see where they stand with it, you know, that... I am saying to you that you cannot really be a projector and think. That is my experience. That is the experience of almost every projector I know. We are either streaming or you're not open. We're streaming or we're not open. I'm not saying I don't look at a chart or something from time to time or, or, or you know, look at some information and that, that there aren't, oh, you know, the mind comes in. But here, does it seem like I'm thinking? <laughs> Joan's shaking her head. <laughs> no, dude, I'm just locked. And it is whatever's coming up. Now, you know, oh, four or five years ago, you know, so, oh, well, that's all your variable. Okay. And then I went, I hacked on that for a bunch. And I was like, no, uh, actually, it's true for any projector that I've been able to have close contact with for any type of time to see how it really works for them when it's working. That's why the archer is kind of our, one of our, <laughs> our uh, archetypes here, you know, that, so whatever your trip is, and, and look, that does not mean that you need to learn the human design system. That means that maybe you know about butterflies or, 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 or whatever, mm -hmm. that, that there's a difference between thinking and being a projector, according to John Mark. <laughs> okay. And we are designed to interact deeply with the generator in, in their aura. I mean, we are. But, I mean, even this has gotten so distorted, like somehow we need them, or even funnier is like that we're thinking about them at all. <laughs> I mean, maybe in some sort of laughing. I mean, if you're if you're coming to me mm -hmm. for what I do, of course.
course. I mean, of course, let me focus on you. Let me see what is and is not working in you. I mean, that's my part of my martial art, you know. Each of you as projectors will start to be able to recognize, wow, do they really see me? You know, in the last year or two, I'm like, oh, wow, they see a little piece of me, but they don't see all of me. I mean, it's a trip, dude. It is a trip. You know, you know, one person really recognized me just because of my form consciousness. But they didn't want the rest of this. I mean, they didn't, you know. <laughs> so, you know, understand generators have busy lives. They, 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 unless you're in human design, then you may be laying on the couch. Because <laughs> it's true, huh? Uh, that you might actually understand that. But, but if motion is their thing, motion is their thing, their energy needs to expend um to us a lot of times to a to a to a projector it almost looks like somebody going to the gas station and just <laughs> running the pump onto the ground it's just like look at all that energy my god i wish i just had can i just get a thimble you know but we're watching we're just watching i've also you know so i, I where i've been challenged on that or, or i've offered the challenge like can a projector think and be a projector at the same time not in my experience. Um, I've also I, I've also offered the 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 challenge, and I just mean that if anybody sees it differently, that actually has some real experiential data, I'm open. You know, maybe not, but <laughs> that may be a lie. But but that um, I can't be a projector more than two or three hours a day. I mean, I max out. I mean, that's as much as I can have this in intensely deep focus. And, you know, what I'm looking at is not what's working. I'm looking at what's not working. I mean, that's my gift, you know, and that's to help bring into, you know, in, in, in perfection into form. You know, first of all, mine, <laughs> and then I can help guide you into yours. But, uh, you know, this silly business that we need to ask them questions or something, there is nothing more natural for a projector once you really know your frequency that basically almost the end of everything is a question. It's almost as if the generator aura demands or requires that at the end of the sentence there, that a question be there. But it's not thinking about it. And not, guys, we are so not bitches i mean it's like what do you see in me <laughs> nothing gross <laughs> no, nothing except something that's trying to get something i i don't I, uh, you want me to help you with your process or what you think you want to get right now it's like you know if, the, if you've got generators coming at you like that and I, hey some of you are uh, um you know, uh, you know, I ask you guys questions, but I don't even know I'm doing it. It's not like it's conscious. It's energetic. Again, we've got to get you. I, I'm trying to get you out of the mind and into the body. Okay. And that includes the mental projectors. <laughs> we'll be like, whoa. Man. <laughs> but I'm a mental projector. Yes, you are. And a lot of you want to share, and that's not your circuitry. <laughs> and you might want to take a look at that. You know? And I'm actually talking now into this class, obviously, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you know, when asked to share first, does that, does that person even see you? See, most people, like I just shared, are just seeing what they want to see in you. They see an amplification of the white coming back. They see everything that they think they want from you, okay? And projectors, being the little needy bitches that we are, we'll get to that in a second, we think any time anyone asks, oh, that means I'm, oh, I'm, I'm free to, you know, it's like, no, oh, man, be vigilant. Be vigilant. It's like, you know, while sharing it, you know, I, I always say this, it's like a stream of water going through a window. It's like either I'm streaming or... You know, in my in in my art, it's so fast. Is like I'm usually gone before the generator knows it. I've even had generators that you even brought it up just now. It's like you pulled out too fast. It's like <laughs> that's because I ain't staying in there. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean it for it to sound sexual, but I mean, it's like you pulled out too fast. I I get it. It's like yeah, because you want my focus. 
Guys, that's what they want. That's our commodity, our ability to actually see what the hell is going on. But we can only see from our very limited perspective, and we do not know what's good for them. You know, and this is where I've really returned to helping people understand what it means to just really be present. Because, you know, in the, in the process of learning human design, I just see that the question after question drags you mentally off into some place. And, and you know, I've ha I even had people tell me that that process worked for them. Or I've had one person tell me that that process is how it worked for them. Um, and, and there's probably a lot, but see, those people wouldn't come to me. And so if that's your way, then go that way. You know, this is my way. Um, and it is. It's like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's how it feels. It's like, <laughs> John just ducked. It's like, wow, dude. It's like, I mean, you can feel it. It's no, like totally. it, energy. It's like, yeah. and, and it's getting sharper and more dense and more powerful in a way. It's it's just like anything, I suppose. It's, you know, getting cleaner. It's like, but guys, the second it's not, you know, that water is not just streaming in a window. It's like, it's like kicking back in your face. And, and so if you can't catch it before that, catch it in that moment, because if not, it's going to hurt. You know, is that person even there? Are they even there? If they're not, dude, you be the one. Again, this is where I'm saying, you know, generators can just sit and chat all day. I mean, it's okay. They can do that. <laughs> Joan's eyes just got all huge, like, fuck that. But they do, and they can. Uh. You know, they do, <laughs> and they can. Okay. Um... But man, when that kick that, it's almost like a cat going, Meow. so if you don't get it before it's too late, you know, at least understand what happens. Like as soon as they're not there, it's over. And what I love to do more than anything is I'll shut up mid sentence. I'll be saying something da, 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 and they take off and I just go, <laughs> and what? And I was like, well, where'd you go? <laughs> I mean, I get right. I mean, that's my way, guys. It's like, look, if you're not even going to be here with me, you know, then I'm not, I'm not wasting my energy, even if you've asked. You know? Is the transmission clean? You know? and, and, and do they really see you? You know, what we can't, what we see could, could, might, maybe, possibly, three or four other disclaimers before that statement be of use to someone, okay? But what we see, I mean, even what I see, I wish, dude, there's a level of seeing that I'm having I wish I could unsee. And I don't mean that, it, it's just like, whoa, whoa. I mean, there's a, and, 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 you know, it's almost too much for me, much less them, you know, and I'm a collective projector. And I like to share with the world. And if I'm saying that what I'm sharing with the world is still, you know, only 30 or 40 percent of the well that I have to draw from of, of things that I'm seeing, it's only because I will only speak about those things that I have been able to energetically verify with my own body. Beyond that, I don't. I don't know if it's true, guys, because that's not how I figure stuff out. Now, I've got 60 or 70 percent down here that I would, over the next years, I'm sure I'll you know, slowly be starting to uncover a few more things here. I mean, it's an incredible privilege to be a projector, like one of the first on the planet or first humans ever. I mean, just to be a human in human design at all already is a is a miracle and gift beyond anyone that you could conceive. But you know, to be a projector that's like literally on the tip of the spear of what this is and what it means and where we're going. It's like, wow, we really are the tip of the spear. And this is mostly, you know, th 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 these pictures really accurate, dude. I mean, dude, I'm just like sitting around just going, you know, a lot of times it's more like, oh, no, <laughs> just, I hope they don't see me, you know. So don't, don't, don't think because you see things that people want to hear them. Please, you get yourself in so much trouble. And in those situations where it's not really obvious, you can at least ask if you can ask. You know, it's like, 
can I share something with you? You know, um, and and then you know just a little, and if they get you know, and just see if they're there with you. You know, but you know that I mean that that eliminates ninety six percent of the population right there. <laughs> I mean, go anywhere, sit in any coffee shop, listen to how many people are telling each other what they should do. Asking other people what they think they should do. I mean, dude, it's the world that we live in. You know, don't, don't, don't try to share what you see. You know, it's, it, it will hurt you. See, sit down and shut up is a gift, not a curse. The curse is not knowing to sit down and shut up. Now, sit down and shut up could apply to all types in the beginning of human design. It really could. But for the projector, it's almost a basic training or whatever, <laughs> you know, it's like without this and until you can get some framework and start to really get some awareness, you know, and be deeply in, in your own integrity. See, integrity is so important for the projector because we're, we're dealing with things at a level that, you know, are, are messing with people. So, you know, being in your integrity, very important. And then, of course, everything is perfect. You know, invitations, you know, they're specific to you and your design and what your arts are and what you're here to master. And they're for the bigger things in life, you know. I mean, they really are. It's like, I don't even really think about it anymore. I mean, life is pulling me at this point. There's so much energy coming at me, you know? And as soon as someone doesn't see me, it's okay. It's like, goodbye. Because, guys, I really want you to hear this, man, is if we don't rise above it, and, I, and I'm beginning to wonder if this is, uh, you know, Ra always talked about the projector being the head of the beast. You know, I like to say the tip of the spear, but, you know, that's John. <laughs> the head of the beast is good too, Raw. <laughs> One of my only times I'll quote him, maybe. But uh, um, you know, when, when they when would that we're at the top of the hierarchy, you know, you hear that thing. We're at the mm -hmm. top of the hierarchy. When I really, what I really see on that is like how life comes to me. Like I'm almost like a plant. Like the waters and nutrients and everything that are there that need to be there, they show up. However, okay that I don't have to worry about. And secondly, that we have to raise ourselves above the Game of Thrones. We, we, have, to, we have to rise above what is the agenda-based, world fear-based minds and, 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 and populace that, that runs the world of people trying. I mean, we have to be above that. We have to be above all that pettiness in order to even start to get a glimpse, you know, from our, from our, perch of oh that's what's happening out there you know and again guys all of this is coming through my physical experience okay but the top of the hierarchy i see it as an evolutionary thing yes i get it you know i get that if anybody is going to see whatever this next bridge is it would be us i see that for the very reasons that i just shared with you i'm not like if we don't rise above that game and get out of all that pettiness, it will kill us. Because it's not our world, and it's not what we're here to do. <sighs> but we have to continue to feel recognized, you know? And it's so funny because, you know, most of what, uh, yeah, I mean, when I'm not recognized, it's like, whoa. I mean, at this point, when it's, you know, I mean, I could care less, you know, of most people, but... But people that I've had respect or friendship for, and they really don't get me, I was like, whoa, dude, whoa. And then remember, bitterness is not an event. <laughs> I'm, I've hit new benchmarks of bitterness. I'm, my seeing has hit new benchmarks, and so has my level of bitterness. So guys, I don't, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I mean, I, I don't know if, uh, if those keynotes ever won't apply, you know. Uh, I think actually at this point that the, the, there may be another evolution here happening where it's like, I really get that, you know, unless you're coming to me like you guys come to me, 
the, the world doesn't get me and, it, and it's just okay and it's fine. See, I'm okay with everyone else's trip. You know, I, I don't like people manipulating people with human design. I have this huge integrity thing, which is absolutely my deal, you know. But, um, you know, as long as you're doing your trip and not trying to hurt anyone, enjoy your ride. You know? No matter how misled you may be. <laughs> no matter how much you think you see or whatever. I, I don't know. You know. I mean, it's our theme song. I'm, I may be right. I may be wrong. Ah, this is what I see. You know, projectors take the other end so deeply, and we're not here to see ourselves. Why do you think our superpower is seeing the other? Well, you can't see yourself with binoculars. <laughs> or binoculars. Dude, this is why, I mean, human design is such a gift for the projector. I mean, it finally gives mechanics to what is this Maya and so forth, and what is this world. And that, you know, again, if we don't rise above it, we will be slaughtered by it. There's no doubt about that. Um, and really seeing who sees you and who doesn't and understanding that, you know, that invitation can be gone in a second. Like that. Gone. You know, whether it's an energetic conversation moment by moment, dude, you have to be there. Or it's in a bigger, you know, relationship type thing where there might have been some, you know, connectivity or whatever. And all of a sudden you get, whoa, whoa, they so don't get my trip. That's amazing. Because my trip is so fucking cool. <laughs> but it's my trip, dude. And if you can't come become a hero, a warrior of your, of your own truth, who's going to do that for you? Does it look narcissistic or whatever? Sure. I don't trust anyone. I don't listen to anyone. No, I don't care what you think. I don't care what I think. I mean, it's like, I mean, it could, you know, it's like, no, dude. I, and and I get shoot emails back at people all the time. They send me these huge emails trying to help me with stuff. <laughs> dude, I did not ask. I mean, energetically, it's like, whoa. You know? So, guys, as projectors, remember, man, you're a fire hose. I mean... <laughs> They better be on fire if they want the whole fire hose. You guys are on fire. I'm here for you. You're on fire. You're getting the fire hose, okay? The coffee shop, half a sentence, you know, a couple of words, some joking, whatever, you know. Um, but this is a big step in returning to, you know, what it is to be a projector. And that's what we will be working on at least for the next year, guys. You know, those of you that make it. <laughs> my classes well, last year they said it was like some reality TV show Survivor or something uh -huh. like people kept getting kicked off the <laughs> island <laughs> it's like, yeah dude I, I'm not here for more projectors we're not here for more we're here for precise we're not here for more we're here for precise and that precision is amazing that the, the amount of the amount of emails that I get that are just, thank you for being honest. Thank you for being real. Thank you for not, you know, so, you know, just repeating everything that everyone else is repeating. I mean, I mean, again and again and again, you know, my recognition does not come in general from the world of human design. My recognition comes from the world. <laughs> and as a collective projector, I mean, and, you know, personal, like, you know, our relationship mm -hmm. and stuff, but, um, <laughs> you know, move to that. <laughs> yeah. did, did, did we have the open ego moment for a second? <laughs> Not at all. It really wasn't, was it? Uh -uh. Yeah. No. Yeah. But you just knew that there, yeah. I mean, but, but that's really where those, the invitations for me come from. Mm -hmm. just the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys, but here's why we get the bad rap. <laughs> Right, dude. We are. We can. I mean, it's almost like I like. It, it's where my curse of being an addict and alcohol, alcoholic addict, whatever. It became my gift in human design because I understood addiction totally. Every one of those open centers is an addiction, and if you're a projector, there's one thing you don't got, and that's the sacral center. And we're designed to be recognized. And we're designed to be invited. So there is some DNA thing in us that is expecting the other to see or value what, we're, what we have going on. 
But I swear, I mean, this is why we get the bad rap. It's like, you know, you see projectors, they just latch on to energy. Take care of me, save me, you know, whatever their trip is, you know. Um, I'm just sharing no matter what, you know, your aura type is, that this is an inside job, guys. You know, and, you know, we can be so needy, deeply, deeply needy creatures, man. And uh, um, to the point where it, 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 like, it actually makes me kind of ill when I get, I mean, because it does not, not happen to me, guys. It's not like this need for the generator energy has vanished. It hasn't. But I recognize when it's needy. <laughs> okay. What do you do? You don't do anything. It's just like everything else that I'm going to teach you in here. It's like, dude, you start to recognize what is our great gift? Recognition. Oh, there's my needy open sacral. Oh, there's my need for attention. Oh, there's my need to prove myself. I mean, I'm just kind of using myself as an example. I see it. And I'll own it as soon as I can see it. Again, as projectors, it's harder for us to see ourselves. So I'm really encouraging you to make this a physical experiment mm -hmm. as much as you can. And uh, there might have been another point there, but I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's here. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> and since most people are rarely seen, you know, when a projector focuses on someone, I mean, dude, that gets confused as intimacy all the time. I mean, all the time. Because, guys, it is intimate. Our commodity is our ability to see. Our ability to focus. Now, see, that's what most generators are going to want from you, you know, or other types. You know, what they're going to want from you is your focus, okay? All right, that's cool. Now, do they really see you or are they just seeing what they think they want in you? And intimacy or sexuality or whatever is one of the biggest traps, you know? So, you know, just like we can be needy of them, they become needy on us if we'll sit there and give them what they want. So it's like, you know, it, too, it takes two to tango, guys. That's why being in your own bed and being in your own aura and being in your own life and being in your own experiment and, and not trusting anything I say any more than just like Ross said, never trust anything he says. It's like absolutely not, especially for the projector. Because it is so clear to me there was no way that, you know, I mean, I don't even know but a few projectors that I that I see and but then I just see how they work they work differently so I don't think that this uh, this projector thing can be so easily put in a box you know I mean it really can't and um, um, when you have your experimentation and you have your own view and you have your own perspective on how all this all works yeah then 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 I'm interested in having words with you you know I mean real words like wow trippy and, and you know, and that includes the things I'm sharing here. But uh, no, this is not an open invitation to, to email me to tell me what you think. It's not. <laughs> now I'm saying that more for the world that may mm -hmm. get this than the class, because <laughs> I, I remember these might be going mm -hmm. other places. Uh -huh. And I said, well, you know, <laughs> yeah, that, that we're filming and all that shit. I, I forget <laughs> these things. <laughs> I, I, I have so much fun doing it, guys. You don't understand. Like I shared earlier, I was so nervous this morning, yesterday, this morning. And on one hike, I was like, my mind said, you should really be thinking about your projector lecture. Dude, I swear it said that. And I just started laughing. I stopped on the trail and I... I doubled over, you know, laughing. I was like, oh, my God, if anybody would have seen me, they would have gone, this guy is schizophrenic, you know. And if you know my design, I am. I mean, I have a very strong body definition with this floating, spinning madness up here. But, I mean, I caught it doing that. You should be thinking about your projector lecture. I didn't think about it at all. Mm -hmm. I had fun putting the presentation together. The, we, we've hit most of the points. Mm -hmm. But think about it. I, I couldn't. It, it was really weird because I, that's a new thing. I mean, mm -hmm. 
up until this year, you know, like each lecture, you know, I'd spend a week. Like, mm, mm, should I review that? And, you know, um, this is from my bones. This is not from a book. What do I say? You can get the book also. You just see what that says. You know? Um, you know, relaxed into seeing the beauty in the mystery of being. Guys, this is what this is what I mean is, is that if we can climb out of the muck and the pettiness and the agendas and all of the power of games of the world, okay, and get to a place where we're really centered in ourselves. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that it's all yummy, lovey-dovey, sweet and fuzzy. Okay? It ain't. But I know what my fucking truth is. And I don't see anybody pulling me off that. You know, if Ra couldn't have moved me five or six years ago, I don't know who thinks they could move me now. <laughs> I mean, because it's getting, and but it's getting stronger because I've had this shit beat out of me, guys. Projectors are not wimpy. We're not pussies at all. We are incredibly powerful. And what success looks like for me will look very different for success for you. It's, it's not, it has nothing to do. It has to do with your design. But it begins, it all begins, guys, with who really sees you. And what do you know via your own inner authority that they really do see you? you know? And then out of that, yes, your exchanges will be successful. You'll see people around you begin to change. You, you know, I mean, people that I have absolutely given up on, two or three years later are coming back. I'm like, okay, they're, they're coming along. They're coming along. You know, it may take longer than I'm, it may take longer than a year. <laughs> it will definitely take longer than a year as a projector. Yeah. But guys, you know, if, as soon as you need someone else or Think you need someone else, and this is all designs. It's like, guys, you gotta let that go. You know, you're not gonna be able to figure this out if you can't feel in your body the difference between bitterness and success. There is nothing else for us to work on. We can only work on your aura mechanics. As a, I talked to a splenic projector this morning, and I explained to them that I no longer even really try to explain spleen because you can't access it all the time. What I really focus on with, with projectors is aura because it's the only thing that we always have access to. We always have it in every interaction. And if you can order a cup of coffee correctly, that can be success. It can be perfect. Or you can screw it up entirely, walk away feeling unseen, unrecognized. I mean, something as simple as buying a cup of coffee can be a successful interchange of energy or an unsuccessful. You guys get that? That's how specific we're talking. That's how precise we're talking. And am I telling you to worry about all, every fucking other human on this planet? Absolutely not. I'm trying to protect you, which would helplessly be my design of trying to make sure that you will survive. <laughs> I mean, what do I do? I mean, that's my design. So everything that comes through me is coming through the stream of John. And uh, <laughs> many of them, many people find it helpful. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have a tally on how many I've pissed off. <laughs> you know, projector rule, you know, go to bed before. And sleep alone. I mean, if you can't at least get that much space for yourself, how are you ever going to be able to deal with the world? I mean, as soon as you step out into the world, you're eating the, the energy of everyone else. It better taste good, guys. If it doesn't taste good, it ain't good. Hmm. And if you don't feel seen... 
I think Jaya is about to join us for our points. <laughs> Conclusion. Conclusion. It's time. It's time to do the finishing points, John. Okay. Thank you, Jaya. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's one of the greatest projectors I know. All right, wrap it up, John. You've been talking long enough. <laughs> he kind of has that look, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just try experimenting with this, guys. You know, not initiate. You know, a good is experiment is just not even speaking until spoken to. And, and in those few situations where you may have to actually be the first one to talk, um, you know, uh, may I ask you a question? Are you available? Just something, as a projector, just train yourself to be in that frequency and you'll actually probably start to find that, oh my God, it aligns with what's happening energetically already. You know, if that is a sort of a mental thing you're doing at first, it's okay, but move it to your body as soon as you can because if you're thinking about, I need to ask a question, then you're not there being a fucking projector. It's it's easy. It's like the most natural thing in the world. Oh, ta da da. Yeah. Okay. Sinking into your natural gift of seeing, feeling, observing. What is your trip? How does your aura interact with the other? The only thing you really need to master this year for me to stamp your card and say that you are one of the greatest guides on the planet. <laughs> Chai is insulted. His card got stamped a long time ago. <laughs> like I said, have some way of expressing yourself because the bitterness that builds up in us, that's been building up in us, in us since birth, because, you know, right or wrong, whatever, I mean, this is what we're the hole that the projector is crawling out of. We all have our crosses to bear, guys. I'm not trying to say that anybody got a better or worse deal. It's just like, okay, this type's really got to be conscious of this, and this one's got to be really conscious of that. But, you know, being able to get the bitterness out, just to puke, because it's like, and in, in this is from my, a dear friend of mine in Kauai, we used to call, we used to call each other, go, kid, would you hold the bucket for me? You know, <laughs> just, just hold the bucket so I could puke, you know? And I invite that, you to do that with each other, you know, not me, unless you're paying. <laughs> and usually if you're paying me you'd want to hear what i had to say more than you know that i mean this is something you this is the one place you could do a lot of that on your own um the mechanics of hd guys and and i know that every projector in here has already been shared i've shared this a half a dozen times with you guys is that you know, if you can at least get the energetic matrix of the nine centers lined up for yourself, hear what is true, hear what's not true, at least begin at that level. Just nine. Just nine. In every human you come in contact with, know those four views of the centers. We'll be getting to that in a, in a few weeks. You know, be able to start to pick that up. Whatever your cognition is, I don't care. Mine is frequency. But the, that song, you know, that, 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 that matrix will be the beginning, like it's one of your pillars to begin building your, your skill and your art of being a projector on is, is really being able to see mechanically what's happening in them, in them, in them. Hear the words coming out of their mouth. See what they're doing. Feel the authenticity. Look for integrity. I mean, look for, and, and I just mean, uh, um, a difference between what they're saying and the energy of their bodies doing. I had a friend of a friend's here the other day, um, um, and I don't usually do this because this person got to me that way. But anyway, they, they, you know, I was asking them to feel their hands because it was really just like I was just trying to get them in the body, and um, and they were looking in their mind <laughs> to feel their hands. I was like, wow, dude. As a human species, we are so disconnected from this form i mean this is not this is not one person this is just yesterday i mean this is not this is not personal at all to anyone i mean it's just that as a species we are so disconnected from both our form and our breathing that it's actually shocking you know and uh it's 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 a strange thing that 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 we could be failing at as, as a species at such a level while the mind continues to run you know we, we, we unchecked 
you know, across our land, uh, you know, basically infesting the human species and sucking the life force out of it. Mind is a beautiful tool as soon as it's in the right place. Knowing the mechanics of human design to whatever level. I mean, like Randy, you know, I shared earlier, though. I mean, dude, he sits in, before every reading, he goes through every day, he makes little notes, da 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 But when he's with you, man, I mean, he might look at something, but man, he is with you, you know. But that's his trip. He, I mean, he is an analyst, you know. I mean, he's an analyst the way I'm a guide. It's like there's nothing. It's a and, uh, and I'm just giving you those dichotomies because we're so different. I mean, I'm really good at helping you fly the spaceship. Man, he's good at oceanography, <laughs> you know, or, or astrophysics or whatever the, the complex side is to my, you know, very simple approach, you know. Um, and yet we can be friends and sit and talk and, 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 and share perspectives. Usually his, but <laughs> I got you, Randy. <laughs> and uh, noticing, see, he's like my only friend in human design that I'm not afraid of insulting. Huh. Not, not. <laughs> he's one of my only uh, uh, the people that I don't. He can I, take it. Yeah, he, he, yeah, could, he, he, he won't even. He, first, he won't listen, uh -huh. and he doesn't care. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> he's perfect archetype uh -huh. for you guys. <laughs> uh, you know. Um, you know, and then noticing the neediness and sitting with it, you know. I mean, really, guys, projectors do have this built-in neediness because we are, there is some frequency that's saying, come to me, ask me for info, I'm a kiosk, ask me what I, you know, it's just there. I mean, it's no fault, no blame. You were born with it. So I'm saying that your gift is also your curse. So anytime you feel that neediness, just sit with it. And that is an incredible... To, uh, discipline for you know your human design experiment for your experiment of being human it's true for everyone you know and I'm not talking about things like motivation and stuff now if anybody goes off on all that but just to actually see are you looking for something outside of yourself to complete you that's not only for projectors and I always laugh when I get to this slide <laughs> Especially after I've just done the fire hose. <laughs> you guys came for the fire hose, you get the fire hose, okay? Mm -hmm. You come for a session, it's generally the same thing unless they want to talk. And I just say, okay, you're paying me. You want to talk? You want me to talk. I mean, it's real simple. Um, but as projectors, guys, it really doesn't take very many words to speak the truth. And remember, they're darts. They're going into people. One shot. One kill, you know, be on your mark, hit your mark, and then get out, you know. Was that too much? Are they going to be able to take it? Did it go in? You know, you, you know, this is this thing. But it does not require many words to speak the truth. And I do giggle to get to say this one at the end, <laughs> after, after I talk for an hour. <laughs> it's good to laugh at yourself. It's, it, there was a part of my process where it was hard to laugh at it because it was so, I'm geared to see mm. everything that's messed up. And I was getting, I, I almost got not only bitter, but angry with the world. Like just, but it was just very much my design, you know, that, um, that developing a sense of humor with this, if you can, when you can, could be really helpful for you guys. It could. Um, and yeah, you know, I mean, for, for the projector especially, you know, like the samurai blade, you know, you can see in the blade there all of his opponents. Guys, it, it's you against the world. I mean, if you, don't, if you think it's any different, then somebody's been lying to you, you know, because there is no one here that really gets you or understands you. That's for sure. I mean, if I can honestly say that I'm still struggling with, you know, how I would, you know, say if. If, I, if this was my last lecture ever and I was never going to get, I wouldn't get to do it next year, mm -hmm. I'd be, I'd be ter terrified right now that, dude, but just, just stay sharp. Hold your ground. Don't be moved off your line and let the masters of puppets reveal themselves. Let the people with the agendas reveal themselves. Let the people that are, that are trying to get you to do what they want you to do. Let them reveal yourself. 
I mean, dude, I stand with like this with a samurai blade in my hand. You come at me, man, I will cut your fucking head off. It's that simple. You know, I have my truth, you have yours. That's it. That's human design. You know, but I'm saying that as a projector that I've had to learn to stand with that blade, but I am also here to challenge everyone. So this is John's view on being, this has been John's view <laughs> on being a projector. <laughs> what is it to, the, 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 the statements made by guests are not necessarily. <laughs> Those of the entire universe. Yeah, right. right, right. <laughs> the opinions expressed on this show are not even necessarily <laughs> true for me. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to close it on up and we'll go to the floor. Mm -hmm.